Alright, so you notice for this portion of the video here, I've got my headset on. That's just because I'm using a different web camera because Carrie's actually got the camera. So, before we get started into doing the cooking with the solar cookers, I wanted to show you, I went to Walmart um, because I've read that instead of putting the cooker bag around the thing you're going to be cooking inside of, that you can actually use a glass bowl and that will create the same effect. So, I got these bowls. I got two of these bowls and they're kind of big and I also got these easy foil casserole pans basically I'm just gonna smash this down inside of here so that it will actually form a tight seal along the lip there uh, I'll have two of these and then we'll just put a lid over the top and that will allow us to reuse these bowls and reuse these pans instead of having to always buy new bags for our solar cookers. Um, wanted to show you that. We've also, you know, I've got a lid actually that we'll use from one of our pots here inside. And that's what we'll use to cook. So, wanted to show you that real quick. So, we're just going to push these down inside of here like this. And then we'll be painting the underside of these. Uh, not the inside, but the underside of them will be painting black so that the light actually reflects and refracts, I think, as well into the uh, pan so that the pan gets hot and cooks the food inside of it. All right, so in the earlier clip I talked about getting this bowl at Walmart. This was five bucks. I got two of these and I got two of these pans for like a buck. They're just aluminum foil casserole pans. What I did was just took and bent it so it would fit inside of here so that it will form kind of an airtight seal around this so that the heat will stay inside of there. We're going to basically today just fill these with water. I know water doesn't sound that exciting, but there are a lot of places in the world where they can't even get clean water. And if they could use a system like this, or a system like this, what we're gonna do with this is take, this is actually an old champagne chiller. We have no idea how this is actually gonna work, but um, hopefully it'll work. We're just gonna fill it with water. We'll put the lid on top of it, and then we'll cover it with a bag, and it's got a built-in spacer underneath it. And we'll put that inside of our funnel and see if how well that works. Um, we're going to put one of these into the Eagle solar cooker that we made earlier. And we're going to put one of them into the solar cook it. And that's the kind that they're using uh, at the Iridini refugee camp from all the women and children who had to leave from Darfur. And that's what they're using to cook their food. Over 5,000 of them are using those to cook their food right now. It's very interesting and very cool, but we can try it right here. Um, with the help of just running down to the store and picking up some local stuff. So we're just going to test water today, see if we can get the water to boil and how long it takes to get the water to boil. I don't know if it will come to a rolling boil, but it will definitely be heated enough to kill bacteria in the water. We're going to go ahead and see how long that takes. We're going to fill these up with water and put them outside in the cookers, which I've already got set up outside sitting in the sun. All right, so I've got the two cookers set up back here cooking. I'm just gonna put a bag around this pot here and uh, put it inside of the other cooker, the funnel cooker, and see how long it takes for these to actually cook the water. Don't I look ultra cool in Gary's sunglasses? I can't find mine, I don't know where they went, but you wanna make sure that when you are cooking, using a solar cooker, that you have something to protect your eyes because Obviously, you're reflecting the sun right back into your eyeball. So it's probably a good idea, even if you don't look as cool, to wear some kind of sunglasses. And uh, we'll come back out in about 45 minutes and see if our water is actually boiling. So here they are on the driveway. Our neighbors probably think we're weird, but whatever. All right, so it has been an hour, and uh, we're going to test to see how hot the water is. So we have a fair amount of condensation here on the lid from evaporated water, and you can probably see that there. And I wouldn't say that this is boiling. It's clearly got some bubbles in the bottom of there. So we've got the thermometer here. I, don't, I hope you can see the blue line and easily climbed up past 125 degrees and still climbing about 130 degrees or about uh, 58 or so Celsius. So not quite boiling yet. 
Once again, easily climbing up above 125 degrees. This one's gotten again to about 130 degrees. And now for this guy who appears to have tipped again, but I'm going to need a hot pad to even get into that because uh, I know that that, that pot's going to be very hot. So, well, there's definitely steam coming out of here. So what we're going to do is test and see uh, how hot this water actually is here uh, inside of this cooker. And uh, hopefully next time we do this, we'll get it to stay up a little better. That stuff is hot. And we got a nice windy day, as you can tell. And the temperature inside of here after 45 minutes is about 100 and 110 degrees or so. So we're going to let this water go a little longer and see what happens. Alright, so I don't know if you can see this and this is starting to cool down just a little bit, but one inside of the funnel cooker here, this is the, the funnel cooker, has reached about 170 degrees or so. Um, and 100, about 175 I would say just under, it's actually at 70, 75 degrees Celsius, so just under 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, pretty exciting. This one actually is going to cook pretty well. The other two that we've tried, um, we tried the, the Solar Cook It, and I think I'm doing something wrong with these, or else the material that I used is not reflecting well enough. But this one is at 100 and... 30 degrees, or about uh, 65 degrees, 63 degrees Celsius, and this one I haven't checked yet, but it's just about in the shade from a tree, so it's possible that it's going to be even cooler. You know though, this one is almost, this one appears to have reached about 150 degrees so far, it's climbing still though. This one reached about 150, just a little over 150 degrees which is hot enough to cook food, and I suppose if it wasn't sitting in the shade, we might have gotten up a little higher. I would say our water test has been relatively conclusive that these will actually cook, and um, they get hot enough to actually cook food on a sunny day. So pretty exciting, and we are going to use these, use two of these anyway. I'm not sure what I did wrong with the solar cook it, but it doesn't seem to be cooking quite right. Um, so I'll have to read into that one and find out what's going on. Um, but these will cook food. You know, the temperature would keep climbing. Definitely would cook well like a crock pot. So pretty exciting to see that actually work in two out of our three. So we've got, I would say, success on two and need more research on the third. Pretty exciting. I think in the next video we're actually going to cook some food. Around the the um, we tried the uh. all right. So if you'll remember from previous uh, about one of them into um, the to actually boil the water.